Howdy everyone, this is Texas Jeff out here in front of Man's Chinese Theater. We're here for Rob Dyerdek's movie premiere of Street Dreams. We have Terry Kennedy, Rob Dyerdek, of course, Ryan Dunn, Ryan Sheckler, who knows going to be here. Everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone that your mom might want to do. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Get ready for it, guys. Here it comes. Text Jeff Crave Online. So, uh, how you, how you feeling about the movie, man? Dude, I'm excited. It's been a long time coming. I didn't seen the movie honestly probably about ten times, but every time I see it, it's, it's overwhelming. It's a new experience for me because it's finally about to get across in a manner that it needs to. Because you've seen the grind and all these other type of movies that portrayed our image in the right, not in the right manner. So, this is it's on. And I'm not just saying that because I'm in it. Like I, I swear I sound probably cliche, but I'm really not saying it because I'm in it because. Derek wrote on it, Nino, these are people that's been around the skateboarding forever, so you're getting the ins and outs, you know? So uh, what, what brings you to Street Dreams again? Oh, you know, just to see the films, you know, I'm a, like, I'm a fan of, I'm a skateboarding fan, and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll see a good movie, you know, I, I'm, I've been waiting for the next... Sort the next of, grind? The next, the next, <laughs> the next special uh, skateboarding film. I don't yeah, think yeah. it's gotten done perfectly what, yet. What do you think the best skateboard film is of all time? Well, the best skateboarding film of all time has to be Dogtown and Z-Boys, that documentary. What would you cast in this film? I am actually play the filmer, Mikey. In the oh, film. you play the filmer? Yeah, I'm in the skate crew. Oh, so. cool. Do you skateboard? I do now, yeah. So you are actually acting? Yeah. Well, I think it's this like is that. one of the it's only awesome. actors in this film because one of the one of the I'm, I'm one of like four. One of four, four actors that I don't know. Texas Jeff, oh. nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. How are you doing this evening? Uh, I'm good. I'm, I'm excited to see the movie. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, you haven't seen it yet? No, no. I, I, we filmed it three years ago, and I went and hid in, in, in Pennsylvania for until now. Why? Why were you hiding in Pennsylvania until now? Because I live there, and there's deer. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta love deer. Yeah, because I, I, uh, I'm marginally talented and slightly interesting, and I just figured the laziest thing I could do is watch deer. Yeah, why not? <laughs> How was it getting to skate like the spots that usually you don't get to skate? That felt like you just had an extra weight off your shoulders, you know, since we had the spot permitted and it was all legit. I just every time we took a break, I was I was just skating. Lunch breaks, I was skating, taking advantage of the situation. Oh hell yeah, man! Do you recall any like certain memories of cops being a, a dick to you or anything back when you were a kid, younger? I mean, up until this day, always like, whenever we get kicked out of a spot, it's just never just an easy kick out. They always want to add in like, what are you still doing skating? How old are you? What are you still doing? Like, grow up, you know that type of stuff. But uh, hi cops. Yeah. Sit down. Dude, sit down. I'm not a dude. Aaron, you're damn right you're calling your mother. Dude, don't take my skateboard. I didn't do anything. Dude. As far as like the parents being mean in the movie and whatnot, did you actually have that as a kid or were your parents pretty supportive? No, my mom was really supportive. Uh, my dad was supportive, but he just didn't think that skateboarding was was something you could make a living off. So he was cautious. He, he always like, you know, said, son, you know, is this are you sure this is something you want to do? Uh, you know, are you sure this is... Can you raise a family off skating? But he was never aggressive like the like the pops in the movie. Um, but uh, I just had to prove my dad wrong. I just had to tell him. You know, he went through the same thing. Being a comedian, you know, his family gave him crap about that, and you know, so I just had to tell him, hey, I'm just doing what you did. What's your name? C. C. Sheffield. Do you come here often? Only to see my movies. Oh God, that was like the most excellent answer ever. Are you in this film? Yeah. What What's your role? Taylor. <laughs> Taylor, that is like seriously, I, I I can't believe it. I had a dream about a girl named Taylor last night. It was a real fun. Oh god, she's messing with the, the my pole. This is my zone, my pole. Do you want me to get another hot girl over here? Okay. That. Lauren. Okay. This is my friend Lauren, and she's also hot. Lauren, you are smoking hot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a fantasy factory in my pants, and I don't know what to do about it. Uh-oh. Have fun. So what are you up to um, these days? These days, fantasy factory, Rob Deerdeck. Yeah. The fruition of five years of his work, Street oh, yeah. Dreams, everybody. Um, I don't know. We're pretty excited. It's like the first real skateboarding movie. Well, hey, how, how, how did it feel to, to get this out and let people really know what it's like growing up as a skateboarder? I mean, it was... It's very, it's, I don't know how to describe creating something like this, especially from writing a treatment to writing a script to starting a production company and getting putting everyone together and then casting, then financing and then filming it and then like going to post. It's like birthing this incredible creative baby and it's like, 
you know, it's it's an incredible feeling, and like to me, it's just like such a relief to finally show my pretty little baby to the world. You know what I mean? And it's been incredible, man. It's like nothing I've ever done, to say the least. Especially when it comes to the fact that all of the movies have never really portrayed what it's like growing up as a skateboarder, getting getting messed with the cops, just just like that. I mean, that's always such a big hassle. But I mean, that's just what it is, though. You know what I mean? And it's like it's like it'll forever be like that. You know what I'm saying? You persevere and you keep skating. But but it, that's what I'm saying. And, and it's like for some reason, like the mainstream is still so misguided on what the sport is. They still think think like you're every all these kids are like vert skaters too and that they're somehow trying to get to the x games you know what yeah, i mean yeah, as opposed to where they're like really just trying to, to skate in the streets you know have fun and live check it out magic dial one dollar i can get you all fed no way <laughs> you following me retard i'm sick of all the skate proofing and getting kicked out of everywhere this is where we should go. If you drop the knack in Tampa, dude, you're getting on the team for sure. 360 flip the crooked grind down a handrail. Why don't you call it the neck? Why the neck? There's not a chance. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Rated R.